Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video we'll be going through Mo on Expert Difficulty. Mo is the only map where you get to have a great hero character to help you throughout your entire campaign map which makes things a little more easy but if he dies you lose also lose the game. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content so that you can receive notifications whenever new videos are being posted. Let's get on with the video. If I find the fleet, I find him. So we'll be playing uh, quite a budget deck. Summon any unit to get more into your control. And have him to attack the Bandit Wizard Tower because it's currently firing at your monument. After that, you should target the Bandit Bouncer as it can paralyze your Mo. You also want to build Mark of the Keeper as there will be random uh, Bandit birds that will be spawning at the bottom row of the entire map. Yeah, you want to attack the Bandit Soul Hunter first because it deals the most damage to your mole. After that you can attack the Bandit Wizard Tower. You want to build a primal defender over here, it's a quite a nice spot for it, so that it can shoot down the birds that spawn. You also want all the mouth of the keeper to line up so that any of the bird that comes along like the bandit wind hunter later on cannot attack your wells and your monument. Yeah, you can stand at, uh, place your mole near a well so that it can heal. Once it's almost full health, you can carry on to the next bandit camp. Yeah, you also want to use most special ability stampede to destroy several buildings at once. I made a mistake here as you want to target the bandit wind hunter first at, as it can paralyze your mole and over time do more damage than the bandit artillery. As you can see, my Mo is going to die, but it won't. So get the well and the op, and have your Mo recover some of his health again before moving on. Because on this base is quite a heavy base because of the Bandit Lieutenant. It's a very strong uh, ability that can knock back your Mo and also has an XL counter. So it deals 50% more damage to Mo. When you pass this wall, immediately build Mark of the Keeper as a Bandit Windhunter will appear here. Yeah, you don't want it to be harassing your units. You want to use a Stampede again? And as you can see, Mo is flying because he was supposed to be not bad, but I used the stampede ability first. So it's quite a unique look having to see Mo flying around. <laughs> a little bit funny. Yeah, so aim the bandit lieutenant first and have the other units to kill all the small bandit sorcerer or the bandit bouncer and the spearman. Now build your next orb. For this, the most troublesome area is the Banzai Burst because it deals a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, breeding grounds to save costs for building units. Yeah, the Banzai Burst. It's one of the main culprits for making Mo die. 
and making you lose the campaign map. So now we're gonna summon uh, Lost Horror. It's uh, the cheapest and the most effective way to get rid of the birds. Now we have the Green Affinity here because it can shoot three uh, gooey stuff at once. Now you want to aim the Bandit Windhunter first again as it can paralyze your units. And it's alright if you're lost for a die because the bandit artillery uh, gun position is it deals a lot of damage. Use curse of wink and you want to faster quickly destroy this gun position and head back to the base to heal. After a while you might want to have a great affinity lost horror to stand by over here so that it can kill the bandit uh, birds. Yeah, summon a few of the lost horror to take down the Banzai bird. I also have the fire affinity because it can knock back uh, units, small and medium units, which could be useful later on in the big bandit map. Mo is going back. We got to get the power well also. So the Lost Horror will just kill the birds off to prevent it from damaging Mo. took a bit longer here because something came up uh, while I was playing the game yeah. so as you can see uh, I blindly marched into the day but of course I wasn't controlling my units well and now I'm back to the game so you want to draw the Banzai lot away from the way station as you can really heal the Banzai lot a lot use the life weaving skill as uh, it can really reduce a lot of damage. Uh, Mo is taking. So it's very easy to kill the Banzai. We also use our Stampede to clear the buildings quickly. If you don't have enough charges for Lost Horror, you can summon cheap units like Silver Wind Lancers plus offering a Nature Affinity to get back the charges for your Lost Horror. Now you want to summon a few Lost Horrors to take down the big belly camp and a healing well to boost your uh, regenerative or uh, healing abilities or uh, spells like a Ray of Light, Search of Light, uh, Equilibrium. The main uh, Units or buildings that will affect the bandit morale is the bandit lieutenant, uh, bandit gun position, and the command walk walker. Each of the bandit gun position and bandit lieutenant uh, that you kill will reduce the morale by 10. While the command walker, once you kill it, uh, the bandit morale will just immediately go to zero and you can attack the uh, raven ships over here, raven battleships. So I'm gonna heal my units. As you can see, the 
ritual recovery from the healing gardens provides a lot of uh, additional 100% more healing than as compared to without it. Yeah, I want to have the Lost Horrors to attack the Bandit Camp position here. So can do a lot of damage from ground units. After that, focus on the rest of the units. You can also just skip by after you destroy the Bandit Camp position and move up down to kill the Bandit Lieutenant and the Bandit Camp position. So you want to destroy the area here so you can get your fourth orc. It's at 24 out of 100 for their moral health. So essentially uh, one bandit, bandit gun position and a bandit lieutenant will make them flee. Lost Horus are the, one of the best uh, units to to kill off uh, bandits because of their gooey speed that hits multiple units at once. Yeah, the bandit waste station is healing the bandit lieutenant. Well, as you can see, the bandit. Wind hunters come, that's why you want to have a Lost Horror standby here to kill all the stray birds that the primary defender couldn't kill because you only have uh, one building. Yeah, so once you got your fourth up, you summon these uh, giant rooms and destroy the Raven battleship. Use the Unholy Hero skill to gain a massive damage. Not forgetting to use your healing garden's ability. Have a hundred percent more healing rate when you cast regrowth. Yeah, the annoying thing about this is that if you cannot kill the Ruben Battleship fast enough, you have to destroy a Command Walker and Banzai Birds will start spawning. Which are quite deadly as you can see one of the birds exploding. Cuts my giant worm's health by more than half. Just attack the command worker, and once it's down, we would have win the game. Nice. Yeah, and that's it. You won with very cheap cuts on hand in your deck. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like my content, don't remember to like and subscribe my channel.